Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher and this is Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time out, I've got a drum machine app for you to check out and I've got a tech tip on how to search and find what you need on your iOS device. Let's get started. One of the things that can happen with an iOS device is that it's easy to load up with so many apps that it's difficult to find the one that you want to use. On my iPad, for example, I've got three full screens of apps that are here, and I've also got folders that have a lot of apps in them. So if I want to quickly access an app, I've either got to go through all these screens, or I'm going to show you how to find the app you want really quickly. The fastest method I know for finding an app, or actually anything you have on your iOS device, is using the Spotlight feature. Now, I think many of us tend to overlook this feature because it's not there right in front of us, but it's a very easy to use way to locate things quickly on an iOS device. To access Spotlight, simply swipe to the right. Once the keyboard comes up, all you have to do is start typing in the name of the app that you want to find. For example, we'll look for Aria, which is inside a folder on my iPad. Spotlight will narrow down the choices until it dials exactly into the thing that you're looking for. And in fact, at this point, we could actually launch Aria by simply tapping on it. Now, one of the nice things about Spotlight is we can actually customize what it looks through when it's finding things for you. So, for example, if you don't want to go through all your contacts, you don't want to go through your whole music library, you can exclude those from the search. Here's how you do that. You simply go to Settings, open up General, type on uh, Spotlight Search, and at this point, you can check the things that you want to search through. If you don't want to have contacts searched, as I don't here, uh, you just simply uncheck that. If you don't want to have your music searched, uncheck that. So you can have it searched for exactly the things you want every time you type something in. As an addendum to this tip, if you know the exact name of the app that you're looking for, you can always use Siri to open that as well. Simply hold down to open Siri. Open Aria. and Siri will open up the app for you as well. In some cases, using Siri may not work as well. For example, I've got three apps that have the word metronome in the name, and if I try to open one of those up, it's easier to use Spotlight to find the metronome and then select the one that I want from the list of three that it finds. Siri, open DM1. The DM1 drum machine by Finger Lab is an electronic drum machine that combines both acoustic sounds as well as electronic sounds and the sounds of a lot of different vintage drum machines all into one unit that's easy to program. You can create songs and patterns with it and do a lot to create very interesting rhythmic patterns. DM1 works very much like an analog drum machine. You program patterns using the grid. You have the instruments here on the, uh, the vertical side and then tap in to uh, add hits within the pattern by simply tapping on the screen. Now to create songs, we simply chain patterns together. Switch over to the song screen, you can see the timeline, and then whatever patterns you have here, you simply click, drag them up, and add them into the timeline, and they'll be played in the order that they appear here. To choose the drum machine you want to use, simply click up here in the top menu. We have electro kits, we've got synthesizer kits, we've got sound effects. We can switch over here to acoustic drum kits. We can also switch to vintage drum machines. We've got TR-808s, we've got the CR-78, we've got the uh, MPC, the Lin 9000. So all sorts of vintage electronic drum machines are here and the sounds are available for you to use with your patterns. Now we also have a pad view where you can play the sounds. We have a mixer view where you can work on the, uh, the blend of all your different instruments. You can also trigger the sounds here so you can hear what you have loaded and you can choose what sound is being loaded in to create a custom kit. We have control over the level of each sound, we have control over the pan of each sound, we also have control over the pitch of each sound. So you can do some editing here as well. You can solo sounds out, and by tapping on the bottom here, we pull up what each instrument is actually playing within that particular pattern. Now here's something interesting. When we click on the effects tab, it opens up a window where we have two different effects devices available to us. The effects include delay, overdrive, reverb, phase shifter, a texturizer, so a lot of different effects there. And the cool thing is that we have this XY grid here, and you can actually automate the effect within each pattern. So DM1 will remember how you're moving your finger in that XY grid and apply that to what's happening inside the pattern. You can choose to apply that to the overall mix, or you can apply it to individual instruments. Now once you've completed a song, we also have export options. We can send to SoundCloud, Dropbox, Facebook, we can do audio copy, we can email, or export through iTunes as well. You can export individual patterns or you can export a complete song. We have WIST capability if you want to synchronize your iPad with another iOS device running another app. We also have a variety of settings that you can make here as far as MIDI settings. I'm going to create a very basic pattern so we can listen to some of the drum sounds that are available. I'm going to clear out this pattern. We'll just put in a kick, we'll put in a snare, 
We'll put in some hi-hats. We'll put in a, a tom hit or two. We'll put in a rim shot here and maybe a cowbell. Now when we play this, I've really been enjoying working with DM1 because first of all, it's very easy to program. You can set up patterns and songs very quickly. The variety of sounds is good, and all the export options make it easy to get the patterns and songs out of DM1 and into your DAW on your computer for use in other songs there. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's iOS update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more apps, more hardware, and tech tips on making music with your iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher.